welcome to Moving with Grace Yoga, Moving with Esbal. I'm Isabel, and uh, here we go, another chair session for you today. And this one, just like the last one, is called Hummingbird, but it's uh, basically the chair version of the last session that I posted. So without further ado, Find a tall seat on your chair where you have space behind the back. You're not supporting yourself here. You're lifting right from here. Find a spot that you have space behind you and that your feet, four corners of your feet, are well anchored into the ground. And from this place of support, See if you can gently bring the shoulder blades onto your back, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the heart, soften your eyes. Simply take these few moments to look inward, to deepen your breath. To soften your heart and to let go of what does not serve you today. We all carry baggage. Yoga brings us a space where we can finally sit still, breathe, and let go. as we take these next few moments, keep softening your gaze or closing your eyes. Keep looking inward. Keep softening. Deepen your breath and let go. Now that we've made space, we can begin to warm up our body. So gently flutter the eyes open. And on an inhale, let your, your gaze lift up towards the sky. Shoulder blades come down onto your back. And as you exhale, chin to chest. Gentle rounding of the shoulders, rounding of the spine, but make your belly button engage a little, bit, a little bit so you can feel your lower abdomen. From here, inhale, look up, shoulder blades down, lift your heart. On an exhale, soften belly button to spine, back of the neck gets heavy, head gets heavy, exhale, inhale, this time maybe pushing through the feet a little bit, this will help you in getting a little bit more lift if we're going to fly like a hummingbird, breathe here as you reach your mat, and exhale, soften. Return to neutral spine, leave the hands where they are, gently on the thighs. Inhale the shoulders up and exhale them down your back. So big circles going backward. So the movement is inhale up, squeeze, Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades back, and then simply let them relax down. Inhale, lift up, squeeze back, let go. Inhale, lift up, squeeze back, let go. One more time, inhale, lift up, squeeze back, and let go. Good. Anchor your 
your right foot down a little bit. Stay lifted here. Try not to round down. So push down through the right foot. See if the left foot lifts. And if it does, reach the hands around the front of the shin, the thigh, doesn't matter. And simply curl in. Activate the toes, the ankle. And then place everything back down. Only go as far as it feels comfortable. You should know this by now. Push down now with the left foot down. Lift the toes and the ankle on the right. Grab hold of either side of the right thigh. Lift and squeeze. Just making a little bit of space in those hips. Return to neutral spine. Once again, anchor right foot. Lift the toes of the left and the ankle. Squeeze in. Only as far as it feels good. This is your body. Anchor the left foot. Inhale. As you exhale, squeeze in. A couple more times. Inhale, right foot down. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, left foot down. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, right foot down. Exhale, squeeze. Good. Returning both feet to the ground. Hip distance apart. Four corners of the feet. Anchor down. Hands to the side this time, palms facing forward. Already there is a left lift in the front of the chest. Inhale, reach up overhead, hands touch, and exhale, gentle forward fold. This can be to the ground, it can be to the ankles, it can be to the shins, it can be to the knees, to the thighs. Let go. Maybe dangle your head, maybe sway here. Push into the feet and unravel one vertebrae at a time. Now's the time that if you've done one and you felt like you were falling forward, then that means you're probably too close to the edge. See what happens to my chair. You don't want to fall, so readjust. Make sure you have enough weight on this chair that it allows for as deep as forward fold is what feels comfortable. Hands to the side, inhale, look up, reach up, hands touch, lift both sides of the torso, get tall, exhale, forward fold. Push into the feet, unravel one vertebrae at a time. The head comes up last. There is no rush. Hands to the side. Inhale, look up, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Maybe pause here, dangle your head, sway. Once again, let go. And then to come out of this, important to push into the feet, maybe lift the toes, squeeze the inner thighs, belly button to spine. Oh, unravel, ragdoll, all the way to the top. For this next one, I'm going to change my chair. You don't need to, just to give you a better visual. So here we go. Anchor the right hand just behind your right hip. Turn the palm, the left palm facing forward. Inhale, reach up. Get long here as you reach vertical. Exhale and side bend. Keep anchoring this left hip down so that you may lift this part up. It's not a crunching down to reach forward. It's an anchoring down so we can get really tall and make space. Inhale up, 
exhale down. If you want, you can follow along. So right hand, look at your right hand. Inhale, reach up, anchor down through the right hip. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, up, exhale down. Make this movement feel good. Left hand, inhale, reach up, lift as we get vertical, anchor to lift, exhale, side bend. Inhale, up, exhale down. Last time, right hand, inhale, up, reach, lift, exhale, and side bend, inhale, up, and exhale, down. Good. Take a moment, bring the hands to heart center, and already tap into what's inside. You can maybe feel your heartbeat, feel the torso expand with each breath. Stay where you are. I'm going to turn sideways one more time so that you can see a little bit better. It's always tricky uh, trying to teach virtually. Remember that if you're tired or something is too much, child's pose is always an option. You can support your elbows onto your thighs, stack your hands, drop your forehead, and simply breathe into the back. So this is your body, your class, your life. And so from here, keep anchoring and lifting, push through the right, and bring your left hand against your left, if you can, your left knee or the end of your thigh. If you can't reach that far, then simply reach wherever it is that you can reach. Lift the left foot first, both hands, breathe, keep the breath, and then use your left hand to push down, creating a resistance. Use this resistance to lift up through the crown of the head. Try to keep the breath coming in and out, and then gently place everything down, hands to the side. Anchor through the left, lift the toes of the right foot, lift the ankle of the right foot, lift the whole right foot up off of the floor, right hand to the end of the thighs, resist, lift the knee into the hand, the hand into the knee, and lift the heart up to the sky, creating resistance, creating heat. Keep the breath, exhale everything down. Once again, anchor right, lift left, push down through the left hand, keep lifting through the torso, your right hand can be just behind your hip, squeeze the elbow, lift and breathe, exhale down one more time, anchor left, lift right, push down with the right, anchor here on the left side, Lift the chest, breathe, create resistance, and down. Take a moment here, maybe let's try this child's pose out. Anchor the feet, stack the hands, breathe into your back body. See if you can tap into that inner voice. And then letting go of your forehead, still in a forward fold. Let your hands come out in front of you. Palms are facing up. Tuck the navel to the spine and unravel. One vertebrae at a time. The head comes up last. No rush. 
Anchor both hands to each side of the hips. Lift the chest gently, not so hard that you can't move. Lift the toes and ankle on the left and kick your leg out in front. It is not coming here, you're not collapsing. Only as high, the leg only comes as high as you can maintain length through your torso. Breathe here, toes, ankle curling towards your face, exhale down. Left foot anchors, right foot lifts, toes and ankle curling towards your face, lifting through the chest, squeezing through the elbows, exhale down. Changing side, inhale, left. Curl the toes, anchor, lift and smile and shine. Exhale down. Right leg, inhale up, lift, exhale down. One more time each side. Inhale, breathe, lift. Exhale down, inhale, right leg, lift up, exhale down. Shake it out. You're going to need the arms, same movement with the legs. Now we're using the alternate, the opposite arm to create a bit of balance. So no hands. Take an inhale as you exhale, left leg lifts right hand, thumb facing up towards the ceiling, the hand is towards the middle, exhale down. Switching side, right leg lifts, left hand lifts. Pretend as if there's a wall in between your legs and you're squeezing the leg towards the middle, you're squeezing the hand towards that wall and all of this squeezing is lifting your chest, keep the breath and exhale down. Now that we know what we're doing, inhale, left leg, right hand, lift, breathe and let go. Exhale. Other side, right leg, left hand, anchor down to lift, root to rise, whatever words you recognize, exhale down. One more time, inhale, left, breathe, get long, exhale, other side, inhale, lift, breathe, let go, exhale, down, well done. Shake it out one more time. Once again, it's going to matter where we sit. For this one, you want a lot of your thighs supported because we're going to be lifting the legs and I don't want you to feel stress in the lower back. So it's important that a good part of your thigh be supported by the chair and that you're not leaning over like this. Try to sit up really nice and tall. Hands behind the hips. And if your elbows are wide, squeeze them. Already as you squeeze, the chest lifts up. Take an inhale. As you exhale, curl both toes, both ankles. Lift both legs. Oh, yes. Breathe and hold. And exhale down. One more time. Inhale. As you exhale. Push down through the hand, squeeze the belly button to spine, get long, and down. One more time, inhale, exhale, both hands, breathe, and down. Now that we know what we're doing, we're doing both arms and legs, here we go. Inhale, legs lift, arms lift. This is where you can hold the spine straight. Stay here. 
If you have more space, see any amount that feels comfortable. If you can lift the sun towards the sky and hold it there, building some heat. And then exhale everything down. One more time. Inhale, lift legs. Lift arms. Breathe and hold. Try to keep the breath here. This is the important part. Trying to find our strength, but yet soften. Let go. Bring everything down. One more time. Inhale. Look up. Lift. Breathe. Exhale. All right, child's pose. Dropping that forehead into your hands. Breathing into your back body. Looking inward. And let go of your forehead, stay curled up, let your hands drop down a little bit. And then drag the elbows along your thighs, palms are facing up. Gently return to neutral spine. Move your shoulders and walk just a little bit more forward, not too far, but just so you have a little bit more space, you're more into the middle of the chair. And then inhale, the arms come out to the side so that the heart can open. As you exhale, push down into the right, lift the left and squeeze, a little bit like when we started. Inhale, Heart to the sky, exhale, squeeze the right knee into the chest, curl in, inhale, open the heart, exhale, left knee to the chest, toes and ankle towards you, inhale, open the heart, exhale, right knee to nose, inhale, open the heart, Exhale, knee to nose, inhale, exhale, knee to nose, both feet back to the ground, four corners of the feet, take a moment here, soften the eyes, feel the breath, feel the heat. Now you're going to need to walk forward near the end of the chair, not so far that you fall off. Nice length through the torso, shoulder blades on your back, bring the chest forward over your feet. For this hummingbird pose, this modified chair pose to work, we need to make sure that the heels are slightly behind the heels. So tall torso, Arms back, heart forward, bring the heart over the feet. You're almost lifting. Breathe, push into the feet. Feel as if you're almost taking off and then bring it back. Now we're gonna do this and push so hard through the feet that our hips, our bottom will come to a hover. So here we go, hands back, heart forward, leaning our torso forward, push into the feet, breathe, hover. You can even pinch your index and thumb, breathe, and then slow back down with control. You might wanna just be reaching for the chair as you sit back. So it might look like this. Let's try this where the hands are just on the side of the chair. Lift up through the torso, heart forward. Breathe, inhale. 
As you exhale, forward. Reach back with your hips. Smile. And then as you sit, keep reaching with the fingertips. There's my chair. Gracefully sit down. One more time to hover. I'm going to hover for a moment. And then we're going to come right up to Tadasana. So chair, get long. Squeeze, hug muscle to bone. Lean the chest forward. Open your wings. Inhale and push. Breathe. Hover and lift to Tadasana. Mountain pose. Full breath. Once again, take a moment. Now that we're here, let's just try to get smooth movement. Start bending the hips, bending the knees, reaching your hands back. Gracefully sit down. As soon as our butt touch, we reach forward, we reverse the movement. We lift, we fly. Exhale, come down. Sit, pause, reverse, chest forward, push into the feet, rise up. One more time, bend the hips, bend the knees, heart forward, look forward, keep the breath. Sit back down, one more time, inhale, chest forward, push into the feet, Tadasana, mountain pose. Pause. Excellent. And now, however you want to make your way there, just move to the back of the chair. So you can use the back of the chair support. Make sure there's nothing behind you for a couple of feet so that you don't hit anything. Hands are gently onto the back of the chair. Your arms are in line with your torso. Step the left leg back. Just a short step back. So your front knee is bent and is right over that ankle. Your hips, the right hip is pulling back. You're not trying to twist your pelvis here. This will happen automatically as you pull back on the right hip and keep the knee over the ankle. Your pelvis will turn gently, only as far as it feels comfortable. And that's where you stay, but you keep hugging midline. Hands onto the chair. Feel the stability. And inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, expand to wings. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, back. Just pause one more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cactus the arms, open your heart. Inhale, wings bend. Exhale, reach forward. Forward, inhale, down. One more time. Inhale, up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, wingspan. Exhale, reach. Inhale, hands down. Look forward. Begin to put so much weight onto your front foot that your back heel lifts. And then see if you can lightly step forward. Move your feet, your knees, do any movement that you need. And then step the right leg back, short step. The back foot, if you were on the mat, would be aiming towards the right upper corner of your mat. So the back foot is angled slightly out. Hands 
her light on the back of the chair. Anchor and squeeze the legs towards one another. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, wingspan. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, arms return to the chair. Pause. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, expand. Exhale, reach. Inhale, hands to the chair. Last time, you're getting good at this. Inhale. Up, exhale, cactus. In, wingspan, exhale, reach. And hands down, return to neutral spine. Push so hard into your left foot that maybe your back heel lifts. And see if you can push again through the left foot so much that you just step forward. Move the knees a little bit. And then see if you can support your arms onto the back of the chair. Begin to walk back. Long L straight stretch where the arms are straight. Your chest is coming down between your arms. Any amount that feels good to anchor your feet. Maybe lift all 10 toes. Feel the four corners of your feet. Pretend as if there's a wall behind your butt and that you're pushing your sit bones right into that wall. If you remember one of the poses we did from the chair, we looked exactly like this, but we were sitting in the chair or legs were straight in front of us and the arms were reaching out to the sky. This is the same thing. As you're here, you get to breathe and I get to talk, so this is much harder, but please focus on your inhales and exhales. Keep pushing your sit bones, stretching the side body, and then maybe take a few moments here to let go, to feel the stretch, to find what feels good. And then gently, carefully, begin to bend into the knees, belly button to spine, and begin to walk forward, like pushing forcefully into the ground. Root to rise. Rise up. All right, move the shoulders. Then we're going to start a little bit of yoga for the brain using our hummingbird shape a little bit. But yes, it's going to get interesting. So let's try it. Let's try to follow along. Hands onto the back of the chair. Tadasana. Let's begin. You inhale and bend the knees, keeping the heels on the ground coming into chair pose. Keep this, everything the same. See if you can push into the ball of the feet, lift the heels. Ooh, lots of heat here. Breathe and get tall. Rise up, root to rise, and then heels down to Dasana Mountain Pose. Wow, let's try that again. Inhale, as you exhale, chair pose, heels are on the ground, breathe. Inhale, as you exhale, lift the heels, keep the knees bent, keep the breath. Inhale, get tall, all the way up, heels squeezing, reaching, Exhale, down to Tadasana. One more time. Inhale, 
As you exhale, bend the knees. Heels stay on the ground. Inhale, lift the heels up. Stay in a chair pose. Reach tall. Keep the breath. Who cares about inhales and exhales right now? And bring the heels back down. And then if that wasn't hard enough, now comes the yoga for the brain, where we try to reverse all of this. Wow, let's see what happens. I always get mixed up, so uh, here we go. We're doing this together. Tadasana Mountain Pose. Inhale, lift up tall. Stay up on the balls of the toes, bend the knees chair and now return the heels to the ground keeping the knees bent push into all four corners of your feet return to tadasana <sighs> inhale up through the ball of the feet exhale bend the knees inhale heels down Exhale, Tadasana. Last time, promise. Inhale, up. Exhale, bend the knees. Stay up on the ball of the feet. Exhale, knees down. Inhale, Tadasana. Bring the hands briefly to the side. Pause. Feel your heart breathing, beating. Bring your hands to heart center. Thumbs to your chest, chest up to your thumb. Always a privilege and honor to share your yoga space, your yoga practice with you. With deep gratitude. Namaste. Hopefully see you next time.